look so crazy right now. Actually, I really don't because this camera is doing me justice right now. But my fit is kind of crazy and my hair looks crazy. So that's why I got to have it on. But I'm about to go to Walmart and go grocery shopping. I got my, my, little, my list or whatever. It's very long. But your girl is trying to pick up some weight. And yeah, I step my cookies up. You feel me? But yeah, I'm about to do that. I need to find a phone stand so like I can vlog um in the car, but I don't know where my my fucking what's it called is what is it called? Um Okay, no, I can't. I can't, but um yeah. My apartment kind of looks crazy right now because I just came back. Oh, I just came back from home um, or whatever. So I'm about to, it was raining earlier. It was like really, um, it was pouring down raining earlier, but now it's clear skies. That's what we like. You know, after five years of trying to get this phone to stay, I wanted to shoot myself, but you know, whatever. Now, I just got two phones. I hope this fucking phone does not fall while I'm trying to drive, but yeah, basically, I need to go to the store. Oh, I'm about to go to Walmart right now. I'm gonna find me a Thing that can stick onto the windshield or through the vent so I can film accordingly instead of doing it from my fucking cup holder like a fucking idiot and something just touched my foot but my phone like okay first of all I got this cheap ass fucking selfie stick holder thing I should have returned it and got my money back but I got this shit from forever not forever 21 um five and below because I was just like oh let me get this joint just spending money for no reason. I'm really a bad, um, impulsive buyer. Like, it's really bad. I do a lot of emotional spending, especially when I'm upset. What the hell? But, you know, I'm getting better. So that's good. What else is good with life? Oh my god, if this fucking phone was in the right place, my skin would look amazing right now. I'm low-key pissed that it's not working. But, okay, what can you do? Life gives you fucking lemons, you make fucking... I don't even know. Something. Ooh, I almost died just now. I'm trying to fucking get the fucking vent together. But, I'm gonna give me some food. I'm gonna give me a burger from Cookout for $5.00. And some fries, and maybe, maybe a milkshake. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot, or whatever. So, yeah, I made a list for what I'm about to get. I'm really trying to gain weight, so I've been going to the gym. I've been uh, taking this stuff called a pediment. That's the new trend, or whatever the fuck. So, now I'm not doing it because it's a trend, but like. Um, it's just I'm really small I think I'm 93 pounds right now that's the last time um, I the last time I went to the doctor they told me I was 93 pounds which is really small and I want to gain weight over the last year I've lost so much weight and I think it's because one because of smoking and number two of stress um, trying to juggle so many um, things at once and not being able to, you know, eat a lot or, you know, what's it called? Take care of, you know, my weight or like, you know, my eating habits. So I kind of lost like a lot of my appetite for real. So now I got to gain that back and then, you know, just keep going to the gym, you know, working out and, you know, doing stuff that's going to build muscle, I guess. So I've been doing that really consistently and like honestly 
going to the gym is the best thing I could have done because it's so like it really helps with stress and it really helps me like I don't know for some reason it makes me like um I don't know it makes me feel like I have my life in order <laughs> somewhat or like it just if I don't go to the gym I feel like okay what the hell am I doing like what the fuck but now that I'm going back to school hopefully like I have time to you know continue to go to the gym I usually go around like the evening time I'm not really a morning person because like after I work out I want to be able to take a shower you know meditate eat and you know be done with the night so I suggest for people that like I mean smoking was like one of the things that um, I would do to like release stress you know but after a while like I felt myself becoming sick like like not like sick as in like oh a bitch got cancer or something like but no like like hitting hitting it would literally make me sick to my stomach like that's when I knew I was like all right I can't do this no more so like I kind of like slowly started cutting back like you know I would try to like you know not spark with my friends but it's not it hasn't been till lately that I've been like oh, all right nah I don't want to smoke like I'm good like you know I think that people like make it harder than what it seems like to stop smoking like all it takes is just to say no it sounds so head ass but like really all you have to do is say no especially when people match you but it, like smoking is your thing like i don't know i feel like smoking is either going to make you lose weight or gain weight like depending on your like metabolism or depending on like you know your body type i guess but for me since i was already little it only made me like and i already wasn't eating a lot it just made me like drop so many pounds and it was just ridiculous like I was looking at pictures from like a year ago and like two years ago and and on and I was like damn like I mean I was still little but it was like I still had some like you know you know extra weight to me so now I feel like I'm just like some skinny ass fucking I don't even know like what the fuck but yeah I'm done with that shit I mean like I don't want to be like, oh, smoking is cool. Like, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I don't fucking know. You know, I don't, I feel like people who smoke don't do that shit to be cool. But, like, I mean, a casual, like, little, you know, session here and there is, like, you know, cool, I guess. But, like, for me right now, I'm so focused on making myself better and, like, getting my shit together that I'm not even, like, trying to have anything fucked it up, like, at all. Like, ever since I've... I've stopped smoking for like two, two, three weeks, and I feel, uh, I feel better. Honestly, I, I don't feel the urge to be like, oh, I'm stressed the hell out, like, let me go smoke a blunt, like, no, I don't feel like that anymore, but I feel like really good. I feel clean, which I am, I'm clean as fuck, like, especially because, like, that shit takes your money, like, you gotta, like, especially when you're matching other people, they give you the fucking run around. Like, you gotta go cop, you gotta go do this, la da da Like, that's a lot of shit that I had to deal with. I mean, even though I was getting sparked up most of the time, but shit. Like, that shit is just, nah, not for me anymore. And I honestly feel like if you're trying to be, like, a person of business and you're trying to, like, you know, be somebody. I mean, there's people out there that are, like, you know, famous and like they smoke or whatever publicly or whatever but i feel like if you're trying to be like professional and have like companies represent you or companies uh be represented by you that's not a good image like a lot of like no it's just not a good image like you may yeah maybe in your free time but like on the low but like especially what i'm trying to do what i'm trying to be it's like nah i don't think that it is a good look on me and my business so i just that's another reason why I wanted to stop and like I feel like doing that shit like really takes away from um other shit that you can be doing like being productive like well, every time I would smoke I would be like damn there's I know there's fucking something else that I could be doing right now that's going to be beneficial to me to me than fucking smoking this shit like right now like no like maybe like okay we had a party with my my homegirls and we chilling but like like casually like oh uh, when i'm in school like i got some homework to do or so i'll like i'll try to do it while i'm smoking but like that shit does not work like the person that i am 
I have like ADHD or some shit. Like I can't focus. It's just no. It's just in the way, and it was just like holding me back for real. A lot of that shit will hold you the fuck back, like from a lot of shit. And people don't realize it. Like people be like, oh, you can do this, you can do that. Yeah, certain people can do it, like if they have the drive. But most of these motherfuckers make that shit, let that shit control their lives. And for so long, I did at a point let that shit control my life. Like, oh, somebody be like, oh, you want to spark? Yeah, I'm coming. Like. I drop everything in front of doing. Like, no, that shit is not okay. That shit is not okay, bro. Like, motherfuckers really be letting that shit control their lives. And I, I speak, I'm saying this shit because, like, I've been through that shit. Like, especially, like, you know, high school, bro. I wasn't, like, a heavy smoker, like, at the beginning of a, at high school. But, like, when I got to senior year, people I was hanging around, like, I mean, I don't know. I guess, like, weed smoking was coming, like, more, like, popular i guess or whatever the fuck like everybody was doing this shit like everybody athletes fucking everybody was doing that shit so it's just like what the fuck who the fuck cares at one point i was just like bro okay yeah it's high school like okay you ain't really got shit to look forward to except for college or you know whatever but like college really made me like be like oh, all right i need to like chill out no not even like my freshman year I was I was still smoking like you know heavily but like I was enjoying it more because you know I had new friends you know I was geeking more like you know you like college is a whole different story but like now I feel like you know I have so much shit I want to do so many things I want to accomplish I just can't sit down and smoke a blunt like I don't have the time I don't have no free time when you're a business person or when you're like actually doing shit, you don't have no free time for real. You barely have time for yourself. Uh, Y'all probably like, I'm fucking rambling, but real shit though. Like, and I feel like um, more people should realize that shit. But I'm not trying to down smoking because I definitely used to do that shit, but it don't do nothing for me no more like i do i i can be a hypocrite sometimes and be like you know oh yeah i'm gonna stop smoking and then my ass be like next fucking week or whatever the fuck but like it's all a process for real but lately i've been doing good so i feel like i can stop because i mean it's not that fucking hard you feel me people make it harder than what it seems you feel me but get into this skin baby I wish I could. I'm gonna show y'all the sky right now. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, there's a fucking grandma in the way. I don't know if y'all can see it. It looks so cute. Yeah. I go to school. I, I don't even know. Well, I feel like most motherfuckers know where I go to school at, but the Walmart is like by. A PWI. So it's like hella white people over here. But um, it's in the cut. My school is really in the cut. I'm so glad. Well, I have a love and hate relationship with my university because it's so far, but like it's so good to just be away from home and like it's like an escape for real. Especially because you, because I have my own apartment. So it's like, it's just like, let me turn this down. I don't know if I'm just loud as shit. But like it feels so good to just be on your own, like and have like my one of these mm, dude friend whatever. He was like, college is like um, a twilight zone for real, and it's like it really is. Like you adult, but you're not adult all the way. Like you're not out here on your own type shit. That shit is cool for me <laughs> because it's like I'm still doing something with my life. And you know you're getting a sense of being on your own because you're at, you're at school and you know you're experiencing different people. Like college really teaches you how to deal with people, and you know networking and you know just being how to deal with people in the world, you know, and learning new skills, learning new things about yourself. Like college will change you. Like it will literally change you. Most of the time, like if you stick it through, it's going to change you for the better. So like you know, it's been times where I wanted to give up and be like, hell no, I don't wanna do this shit no more. But like, honestly, I think that it's gonna be worth it in the end. Like when I walk across the stage and I get my, you know, degree, I'm gonna be like, all right, now to pay off these fucking loans, let's get it.
it's like nah but nah for real it's gonna be worth it in the end like it's gonna be worth it i feel like i'll have something to put in my little tube box you feel me you know and continue to do my little makeup you know shit you feel me so it's just a little bonus and like at home it's nothing for me like i hate well mm, i'm not gonna say i hate my hometown but like it's nothing out there it's so fucking boring the same fucking people same faces doing the same shit like nothing changes it's always drama and i just prefer to just be away from it because it's like that shit will like you can get caught up into some shit real quick like it's not that fucking hard it's not that hard at all like it's i mean if you stay out the way yeah but like just like mm, i can't mm. Like, I can't be one of those people that, like, still going to the football game, still going here, trying to pull up to high school events or, like, you know, just doing shit. Like, I mean, it's cool to have the same friends from high school, but most of that shit is fake as shit. Like, motherfuckers be fake as shit and be fronting. So it's like, why even surround myself? I want to meet new people. I want to have new friends. I want to, you know meet people from different states and shit like and so i could be like oh i can go here meet up with this person in this state or you know travel here with this person like most of the time you meet your your best friends in college like it's i, I love it honestly like it's one of the best things i could have ever done like now that i realize it, like at first i was like what the fuck is going on i was like freshman year i was like yo what the fuck is going on but once i actually made an effort to get to know people and you know branch out it was cool like you know my school is really small it's not small but like it's small in like enrollment size and like you know how many students go there but like i fuck with it because it's like at the end of the day college is what you make it everybody's not gonna fuck with certain things about their university but like it's all about what you make it like the corny ass saying like life is what you make it no college is what you make it like it's either you're gonna choose to be fucking stuck in your dorm or your apartment or whatever you're staying and just sit there and wallow like oh i don't have any friends or you know this other or you're gonna fucking go out and try something new and you, most of the time you're gonna end up fucking with it and if you don't like okay go try something else but like people be so fucking scared to get out their fucking comfort zone like nah like that's the whole key to like growing and you know becoming a greater person a better person it's like when you experience different ex shits or whatever it makes your character you know builds your character or whatever so i'm always about growing and learning new stuff about myself especially and one thing is like you will lose people like along the way like you're not going to be friends with everybody you're not going to be everybody's favorite person you know you're not going to like nothing lasts forever you know and that's another thing that I've just been trying to, like, be okay with. It's just, like, because once I meet somebody or I have friendships or, you know, relationships or whatever, I attach onto them. And, like, I'm, like, like it doesn't work out. I flip the fuck out because I'm, like, no, like, bitch, no, you can't leave. Fuck. But, like, some people are just in your life for a season for a fucking reason. They're there to teach you lessons or they're there to, like, you know, teach you things about yourself. And, like, that's the whole thing about life. Like, you know, seasons change. People change. So, yeah we're, we're growing people and yeah if people it, it takes a long time honest not of a long time some people can like you know understand it and just be like you know whatever but for someone um i cherish my friendships i cherish everything that i when i come into in um contact with people that i really fuck with or you know make me feel good or you know make me laugh or whatever the case may be like you know they hold a significant spot in my life i cherish them and i take them very seriously and i just like i don't know but some people are you know here to say some people are here to go so yeah but i'm about to go in this fucking walmart i'm gonna take y'all with me and yeah so somebody just called me interrupting my goddamn video. But what the fuck is new? Oh, let me turn down this aisle really quick. I'm trying to find some whole grain pasta.
watching the 80. Try the whole grain. I feel like he's only nasty as shit, but fuck it. Um, oh yeah, the mashed potatoes. If you make your instant mashed potatoes with water, you're Satan himself. And that's real shit. And I don't want to be judged for having instant mashed potatoes because I'm not fucking like don't got time. Okay. I got hella shit, yo, like I'm scared, y'all, like, like, I'm really scared. I'm having pasta with no sauce. Who am I? What did I get last time? I got Prego. They don't even have the mini Prego things. Yo, look, <laughs> I'm done. So next thing on my list is coffee. Sometimes just thinking, I'm like, do I even need fucking coffee? But I, I need it. I really do. This one's $9.68. This shit is expensive. Sheesh. My forehead is dry, bruh. It's really dry. It's like peeling. I can feel it. Okay. Um, I got bacon. Oh, hot sauce. That's what I need. I need some Frank's hack. I put that shit on everything. Everything. Excuse me. Thank you. Baby boy. Okay. We already got hella tea at the house, so. I don't know if I should just invest in this big ass thing of fucking. No, I need to not buy anything else. All right, the last thing I need to get, though, is some bread. And then I'm going to be done. And some broccoli and carrots. Oh, I forgot to get honey. I love bread so much. I'm ready to get the fuck out. We got that Walmart list right there. I think I have everything except for the dried apricots. I got the honey. I didn't even look at the price, shit. I'm not trying to buy anything extra either because, oops, excuse me. I just, um, oh my God, this goddamn cart is so hard to push. I just got this credit card for Walmart and I'm not trying to go crazy. I'm trying to keep it at what the fuck I need and what the fuck I wrote down. So I pretty much have everything that I need. Um, I'm about to, what the fuck? I needed something else. Oh yeah, selfie stick because this shit was killing me inside. But I'm still gonna definitely go to that we out here. But like I was saying, I'm trying to keep it to what I need and that only because I be wilding the fuck out at Walmart. I don't know who I be thinking I am. Like just doing anything. Putting anything in the bag. Like I'm baller status or something. I mean, I am, but like, no, at the same time. This car is heavy as shit. I want y'all to see this shit. How much crap I have, like. And I don't wanna look stupid. <laughs> Actually, fuck these people. I have so much crap. Like, so much, and I'm like, two pounds, trying to push this bitch. The fuck? Niggas see me struggling and shit. I'm about to get some candles too, just because I haven't been in my house for a minute, so, you know. I don't know, when I walked in the other day, it smelled like cats, and I did not like that shit. So, <laughs> I'm about to get some candles, make the place smell good, real nice or whatever. And then, I like when the candles, 
on, on sale. Not when it's 3.33 because who the fuck do niggas think they are? But I like the hazelnut cream, bruh. This joint, OC. I'm gonna pay in cash for that because it just makes the whole house smell so good. Which one? What's your favorite candles, y'all? They got Island Party. Hmm. That's cool for real. I don't like stuff that's too strong. Like vanilla. I would be fucking with vanilla, but sometimes vanilla just be like too much on my nose. Like way too much. So I gotta keep it at a. My pen! I gotta keep it at a distance. Before I fuck my goddamn senses up. Um. Yeah. And we need a can opener, but I'm gonna get one from like the dollar store with my cheap ass. Ooh, I'm trying to turn this damn cart. What the fuck? Okay. I think I have everything I need. I'm just gonna check for the selfie stick and see how much it is. I feel like the one, I got one back home, but I don't think I'm going home anytime soon. Oh. They got hangers. Oh, these are baby hangers. What the hell? I need some hangers from my room. Not no childish ass hangers. They 197. Girl, suck my dick. Anyway, them bitches will just be folded. I might have to end this little short joint because it's like really hard for me to much this goddamn guy. <laughs> So I'll be back guys. So I'm like halfway through my list. This is my cart right now. I'm just picking up extra shit. I don't know why, but um, I'm making progress. Um, right now I'm just looking for some cereal bars or like some protein bars or whatever. So they told me to go for the Nutri-Grain, but I don't see, it. oh. I don't know, no, Nutri-Grain be nasty as shit. And it's only 130 calories. Like, I need something that's like 200, my nigga. Definitely don't have that shit. But I have some, I have some Nature Valley Crunch joints, so I'm gonna keep eating those. The Bell Vita ones, they have high calories, but I have a whole box, so I'm not about to buy another one. And I plan on eating oatmeal and like making breakfast in the morning. So I'm not gonna get any cereal, but then get I should. I'm gonna just get. Ew, they got. Yo, what is this? Who did it? They need to go to hell and rot because that's disgusting. I'm about to grab me some cinnamon toast crunch. I guess. I'm really scared about what the fuck my bill is about to be y'all like y'all don't even understand right now let me get some rice let me try out some um brown rice because apparently that's good i have a bunch of like vegetables canned vegetables at my house so i'm not about to cop anymore okay so i'm out of the the walmart i swear to god when i went inside it was fucking daytime okay so all right i don't even know how much i spent because this is my fucking receipt like she you have an amount that i spent but i spent around like 80 dollars 80 90 dollars i did pretty good um i think I got a lot of stuff and you know I gotta be a cooker oh somebody's backing up come on babe I'm about to go to cook out really quick and give me a burger my friend is supposed to be having taco night we're gonna have wine and um talk oh shit I just ran over somebody's umbrella 
But who gives a fuck? I don't. I'm acting like I can't drive right now. I just hope I didn't hit that person's car just now. I don't think I did. I would have felt it. Um. But yeah, we're supposed to be having taco night, but that's not until like 8.30, so I'm mad and hungry. I ain't eat all day, so I'm about to go up there, get me a little grub. Ah! And this is the exact shit I'm talking about. This exact shit. I just need some dick. I just need some love. How the fuck is what you lame, niggas? All these niggas lame as fuck. These niggas be dumb as shit. Dumb as fuck. But what can you do? Nothing. <laughs> but I'm going to get me a cheeseburger and some fries and a bacon ranch wrap. And I'm gonna fuck that shit up because I'm starving. Give it to me like you need it, baby. Oh, and tomorrow is going to be lit. Definitely because Summer Walker is supposed to be dropping an EP or album or something tomorrow. And I'm ready to be in my fucking feelings. The fuck? I'm ready. I'm ready for it. The fuck? I don't even care. Her voice is so beautiful. I fucking love her. Like, I love music that I can just chill to. I'm like, I like, I honestly, I've been trying to listen to hype music so I don't be so emotional. Because, like, songs will literally make me so sad. Especially when, like, a song reminds me of somebody. Or, like, it reminds me of, like, like some person from the past. Or, like, whatever the fuck it, like... Or somebody will ruin a song for me or something, like, and I can't listen to it no more. Like, as much as I try not to, like, link that person to the song, and when I, I personally, when I listen to love songs, especially when I'm, like, first in, like, talking stage or whatever, I be listening to certain songs, and I be like, and I be like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if anybody else does this, like, they be, I don't know how to explain it, I don't want to sound like a fucking weirdo at the same time. But like, I be like, like, you know, when you listening to a song at that time in your life and when you hear it later on, like later down the line, you're like, damn, like whatever person was in your life at that time or like whatever you was doing, like your life might have been great at that time. Like, that's why. That's what I mean. Hey, cookout is always fucking packed. Always. And I'm trying to just drive slow as shit so I don't knock this goddamn camera. Damn. Ain't nobody trying to get out of their car. Like, the drive through is packed. <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed because I need to stop cursing, guys. But I have a fucking acne scar right here. It's like right here. And it pisses me off because I only get pimples when. Um. I'm stressed out or I'm like or I've been drinking sodas but I rarely like I only drink sodas when like I'm really going through it like when I'm really upset or like de like not I'm not even gonna say depressed because like I feel like people loosely use that word but like when I'm like going through it I like my fucking eating habits are terrible like I be eating fast food I be drinking soda I be fucking eating candy I just be like going through it and it shows I need to stop I haven't I don't really drink soda like that I drink a lot of coffee though I love coffee I love tea I love juice I need to cut back on that stuff because I mean I have good skin but like I feel like my skin could be better if I didn't drink as much um, sugary stuff Oh shit, I'm at the wrong goddamn thing. It was the order at the next menu. I was pressed. Ew. Yup, I'm gonna get me 
a small burger and I'm gonna get fries. Ooh, it's cookout rounds. I wanna know what that is. Hold up. Hi, I have a question. What is the cookout rounds? It's a hash brown with cheddar cheese inside. Oh, are they good? Be honest. <laughs> they are good when they're fresh, yes. Okay, can I get the cookout tray, the uh, junior tray? Like? Can I get a small burger with ketchup, mustard, and extra cheese, please? All right, your two sides. Um, can I get fries and then um, a bacon wrap? Good drink tonight. Um, can I get a fruit punch, please? Absolutely, anything else? No, that'll be it. All right, it's going to be $6.24, then. Thank you so much. Thank you. That bitch is supposed to be $4.99. They're going to talk about some $6. I done put so many diamond chains on you, they get tangled up. And I'm just like this is strange as fuck. Uh, but it came too much. Now I'm in Buddha. You fucking mean. I hope when I get to this window, these fucking people don't be like, what the hell is she doing? But then I, can, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. If I care what people think, I'll be a stupid ass bitch. This ain't no fashion nova. And I'm just glad that's over. So I ain't rocking with a real one. Sitting on a million. I cannot wait till I get paid again. Don't kill them. That's facts. But yeah. Y'all. No. I've been, um, all day today. It's been so busy for me. I got up. I have been up since 5 o'clock in the morning. But I had a venti white chocolate mocha with an extra shot. So I think that's what kept me up earlier. But I am a little bit tired. I'm going to be knocked out tonight. Like, oh my God. Like, I had bought some pink Moscato earlier. I got, I was, I wanted to get the Rosada Moscato, but the liquor stores around here don't have it. And it's annoying. But I got the pink Moscato. I like that one. I mean, I guess everybody likes pink Moscato. It's like nothing new. I'm really a big fan of white wine. I don't like red wine because it's like disgusting. I think it's disgusting, honestly. It's terrible. It might, okay, I'm, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. But like, it's not the best. Like, it's just like, mm, like Taylorport. Taylorport is cool. I don't know, but let me put this camera this way. Ooh, Ooh baby. Okay, so we're back in action. Now I just gotta cross the street and not die. I'm so hungry right now. taco night whatever the fuck and yeah i'm gonna show y'all what the fuck is popping then